Yes, this is Thomas and today I will show you what I'm taking on my travels to Canada. I'm going to Canada this Friday and I will be showing you now what I'm bringing on my travel. So this is about a two week trip to Eastern Canada. We're going to Montreal, we're going to uh, Ottawa, Quebec City and then a little bit to the north, Saguenay, Sag, Saguenay Fjord, um, pardon my French, uh, Tadoussac, doing some whale watching, doing some nature and doing some city trips. So I am planning to bring a variety of gear, uh, mostly uh, instant film, some 35mm film and also my digital camera. So the digital camera I'm using is an Olympus OMD 10 and it's actually the camera I'm filming this with so I cannot show it to you. It's a few years old now, I use it mostly with the lens that came with the camera. I have not many other lenses but I'm bringing this Panasonic lens. It's a zoom lens, a 45 by 200 millimeter Taylor lens. Uh, this I bought also a few years back for shooting whales when I'm doing whale watching. And I got some amazing pictures of orcas on Vancouver Island. And I didn't use it much or I don't use it much, um, but it's great for taking pictures in nature and especially whales. And I'm doing some whale watching again, uh, so I'm planning on using this. It's pretty good. Uh, 45 by 200. It's a micro four thirds camera, so <clears throat> you can get, go pretty close with this one. Uh, for digital, I also bring some uh, extra batteries, bring us some extra SD card, and a lens pen to clean my cameras. You can use it for the analog cameras too, obviously. Then for the film camera, I'm only bringing this small Contax T2. Uh, it's the only film camera I own. It's also my favorite film camera and I'm really enjoying using it. I once owned the Yashica Electro, which I just sold because I never used it. And I only now use this Contax. And when I bought it, I was looking for it for I don't know, three, four years maybe to find a decent priced camera and eventually I got it from Germany, it about, was about 220 euros, which is a steal now. Um, I'm planning to shooting some black and white film, not exactly sure which one I will try. I will probably shoot one roll of black and white film. I have this... Um, from Photo Impacts in, in, in Berlin. It's a 100, uh, 100 ISO film. And I have this Cosmo Photo uh, Mono, also ISO 100 film. I'm planning to develop the black and white film I'm shooting in Canada with my uh, lab box. It's a Kickstarter project um, that was founded three years ago, I think. And now the final product shipped. And I'm pretty excited about trying it. I uh, just saw Matt Day using it and I'm really looking forward to finally developing my own film. Uh, yeah, I'm also gonna shoot some color film obviously. I just bought this pretty cheap Kodak Gold. Uh, very likely I will shoot one roll of color and one roll of black and white film. Because obviously I will also use some Polaroid film. I will be bringing this SX70 in this original SX70 letter bag. And this is my one camera. I will be using it with this Polaroid original SX70 color film. And I will actually only using color film. Um, I kind of dislike the black and white film mostly because the, I don't know, I didn't like the change when it changes to sepia I really like it black and white and a lot of times that just isn't what a Polaroid originals or impossible film is so I really like to shoot color um, 
yeah and I shoot some analog black and white I like better but yeah so I'm bringing this um, a 670 color film I'm also bringing 600 color film for my SLR 680 that is this camera here um, also a foldable SLR camera um, and uh, difference advantage I'm bringing the um, two cameras I had one breaking down on me on my last trip to the US West Coast so I was really happy to having a backup camera and this time again I'm bringing a backup camera because my SLR succeeded like I said the last time the autofocus stopped working so that was really bad <laughs> and uh, I have a lot of not in focus pictures from the US West Coast until I realized there was a problem it was almost too late um, yeah, I will be bringing this Polaroid Originals back. It is especially for these folding SLR cameras and it either fits uh, the SLR 680 or the SX70. And if you're creative, you can even fit the context in there and some film. It's padded and it's a sling bag. I really like it when I just walk out, don't need much um, other stuff. Just um, take that with me, you can put in some money, anything. So I really like this bag great for these Polaroid cameras. Um, I mostly bring the SX70 as a backup. It uses the slower 100 film. The SLR680 has the faster 600 film. Uh, I'm bringing this because I can use it with this ND filters I'm bringing along. So I can, even if the SLR680 is not working anymore, I can use the SX70 with the ND filter, even with the 600 film. And I also think it's easier if I need some more film uh, to get 600 film. So that's my solution for that. I roughly bring about a pack of film for every two days. So I bring, I plan to bring, I think maybe eight films for 14, 15 days. Um, probably I'll be bringing home one or two bags, but I really try to shoot film and uh, usually I'm very uh, kind of selective with the instant film especially so I'm forcing myself to shoot more and I really like the experience on my last trip to the US I brought a shot like 10 12 pack, packs of film or something like 96 photos so it's really cool uh, to have a selection the only other thing I'm bringing here is this uh, film shield for the SLR cameras um, that is just great if it's very sunny it helps to protect uh, your Polaroid pictures from light then yeah Polaroid pictures just bring this small box hold some pictures and we also sold sell that one in the online shop uh, so if you're looking for a cool box for your Polaroids this is very nice it's produced in Germany as well uh, yeah how to travel with the film, I am bringing this time my Lobo Pro camera backpack. It is, um, it opens on the back, so you can ha so have easy access to your cameras. So here I can fit the digital camera, I can fit the contacts, and here I can fit the SX70. So I can fit like three cameras in here easily and some film as well. Uh, the SLR 680 is a little bit harder because it only fits in the front department uh, right here. So you just slide it in here. Um, yeah. But, and then you have a smaller department up here. This is great for film or if I would carry a box type Polaroid camera, which I'm not this time. And yeah, then you have some space for bottles or whatever. So this is really great if you walk a lot. I uh, used to um, carry over the shoulder bags, but it's really hard on my back. And I now I'm really happy having this, especially if it's a lot of walking and bringing some more cameras, then it's really helpful. Traveling with the film, I made a video about it. I will link it here. I will usually I'm bringing you never check in the film so that's important you just bring it in your carry-on um, I talk about in the other video about hand checking it I never tried at the airport asking for a manual check of my gear uh, I think it's a hassle I think you have to do a lot of explaining 
And honestly, I never had any problems with my film. I use slow ISO film only here, so that's not, shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to my trip. I will show you pictures, obviously, later of uh, the stuff I'm doing. And I hope I get some great pictures. If you have any questions about the gear, uh, about traveling with film, with cameras and um, stuff like that, just let me know in the comments. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions about instant photography, as always, also leave them in the comments. I'm happy to help. And uh, yeah, see you after my vacation when I'm hopefully um, developing this black and white film with my lab box. If you're interested in having a video how I developed a film with the lab box, also let me know in the comments. If you're not already subscribed, then please do that. And I'm yeah, give that video a thumbs up. And see you next time.